Hello, my name is Tomáš Miller. I'm a technical lead and a principal developer of Unitime. This is a short project to update presentation about Unitime. Unitime is a tool that came from almost two decades of development and research of educational optimization algorithms. It was created to effectively timetable courses and exams to provide student scheduling both in batch and in real time, and to manage course changes and additional events during the semester. Using Unitime can save a lot of costs to an institution of higher education. First of all, it is open source and free to use. There is are no licensing fees or setup costs. We provide free email support, but also a commercial support if it is needed. But the cost of the software is only a small part. An institution can save a lot of money by using their resources effectively. It can also help students to be able to graduate in time and the institution to offer courses that are truly needed while maximizing the amount of students that can take them. This helps keeping the student costs low as well as making the whole process easier to manage and more fair to all the interested parties. Unitime also helps with planning the future, what if scenarios, as well as better coping with any changes, including the recent COVID pandemic. There are five major components in Unitime right now. While they complement each other, they can also work independently. First of all, our course timetabling helps to build a schedule of classes, assigning individual sections to both times and rooms. It can consider various preferences and requirements on times and rooms, availabilities of instructors, structure of courses, and so on. There is a solver that can be used to compute a timetable automatically, or that can help the user to provide valuable suggestions when making manual changes while ensuring that there are no time conflicts for rooms, instructors, or students. The second component is the examination timetabling, which is used to build an examination schedule, assigning exams to examination periods and rooms. Besides of considering the various preferences on rooms and periods, various relations between individual exams that we call distribution constraints, it minimizes the number of direct student conflicts and also back-to-backs or cases where a student has more than two exams on a day. Exams can be split into multiple rooms or can share larger rooms as needed. One of the most important components is the student scheduling module. It takes the course demands of students and can be used to register students to individual classes. Students can provide the courses they need together with alternatives and free time requests. The system gives them class schedule that best fits their needs. The class schedules can be either computed automatically for all the students that did pre-register or it can be used in an online form where a student gets a schedule immediately. The online mode can be also used by the students to make schedule adjustments once their initial class schedule is created. The last component that is also using a constraints-based optimization solver is the instructor scheduling module. This is usually used for the teaching assistants to assign them to classes that they are going to teach, considering their teaching load, qualification skills, availability and preferences. Finally, we also have an event management tool. It is used to book additional events in the university rooms and also to provide room availability for the other timetabling problems. It is also used to display a schedule for a student, an instructor, or a room that contains all the classes, exams, and additional course-related events like help sessions that the instructor can set up. We do have a major release every year. We are now at Unitime 4.6. There are also minor releases that are done more frequently, typically every other month or so. Unitime is a major project, so it is mostly gradual improvements of the functional, mostly in the student scheduling space. From the current Unitime version 4.6 that was released last January, I would like to point out the new waitlisting that takes place during online student scheduling. It allows students to waitlist for a course that they do not have and that is currently full. This release also supports Java 16 and later versions and Tomcat 10. In the next release, there will be more waitlisting improvements including the ability to do a swap of a course or waitlist for a different section or sections of a course that the student already has. Because Unitime is available for download and use for free, we have only a limited knowledge about our users. There is about a dozen of them that we work with regularly, but from the rest we may only get an occasional email questions or even no message at all. However, we do have a voluntary registration in Unitime that the admin can fill in once the system is installed or at a later date.
This registration has been used to create this word cloud. It is over 500 registrations from around the world. Also, out of these registrations, close to a hundred of institutions have indicated that they use Unitime in production. During the last 12 months, we have got about 45 new registrations, seven of which have indicated that they use Unitime in production. We have two presentations at the Open Apparel 2022 conference this year. Both are on June 14. The first one is about differences how Unitime is being used by our users around the world. The second one lists how Purdue University benefited from using as well as being part of the research and development of Unitime. Other than that, we will have a couple of Unitime related presentations at the Patat conference in August uh, in Leuven, Belgium. This is the practices and theory of automated timetabling conference that happens every other year. We are co-organizing a special track at the conference about the international timetabling competition that we have run in the past years. The competition was for the researchers interested in the course timetabling research. We have published three sets of problem instances, 10 instances each. On the competition website, we have close to 400 registrations for more than 50 countries. So far, at least 16 solvers have been deployed, developed, and some results have been validated and uploaded on our competition website from them. While the competition is over, the ITC 2019 website stays up to provide a repository of best known solutions for the competition problems. Thank you. Here are some links for more materials about Unitime. In particular, I would like to mention our online demo available at demo.unitime.org.